Hi everybody, this is Lacey. I'm a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator and I wanted to show you how to make the pencil card to go with the pencil video that I already made for you. So I have some current products because I had, an ex I had a retired paper on my original card so I just wanted to make it really quick and show you. It's not hard at all. So I have, this is the paper that I have today is from the in colors it is the new in colors the 2022 to 2024 designer series paper it comes in six by six so i just cut them straight down the middle to make three by three three by six and then we're going to trim it up i'm actually going to make it um two by five and a quarter probably we'll look at it when i get my tape measure out just i mean my trimmer out just a second so this is the starry night this is the parakeet party it's gonna go like this so you're gonna take your card base this is just a half sheet of cardstock so it is 11 by four and a quarter you're going to fold it and score it at five and a half. So then you have um, a top folding card. The craft card stock, I cut it. It comes in six by six sheets also. I cut it straight down the middle. So this is three by three and a half. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a second. So... I'm going to bring in my trimmer here. You need, you're going to need a scrap of black also to cut out the word thanks. Now, let me tell you, I put our Stampin' Adhesive sheets on the back of this and it is going to make life so much easier when we go to attach that on the card. Trust me on this one. And then you're going to need some Baker's Twine. I just have the Craft Color um, Crumb Cake. I think it is it's the crumb cake color and um, you can use whatever you want and then I'll show you the little embellishments I have they're still available also all right so I do want I'm going to cut this down to two this is my stamp and trimmer and let me tell you everybody needs a trimmer you this one is fantastic and then we're going to do, so I did two, which will make it four when you put the two together by five and a quarter. So I'm just going to cut that little bit off. So this is two across by five and a quarter long. And if you notice, it fits just nicely on there and it gives a little bit of border around the edges. Well, let's do the green one the parakeet party we're gonna do the same thing here I don't know if that's straight all right so we're gonna cut it down to two by I can measure <laughs> five and a quarter so then they're exactly the same all right perfect set that aside now, with this guy, what we're going to do is you just take your scissors. These are my Stampin' Snips. You're going to cut up a little ways in the middle. Go straight up. And then from the corner, you are just going to go straight over to that cut. And this is going to make it that tag. Oh, I guess I didn't do a very good job at that, huh? All right. I didn't do the right angle. That's what happened. All right, let's fix it. So I guess we're going to do it a little bit tighter. We'll just have to trim off this side a little bit more. There we go. Then you have your little banner tail. Okay, see? You can always fix it. Now, this I just took, and 
Let me find the end of it here. And then I wrapped it around. I kind of have to hold it back because this paper, for some reason, it decides to fold. So you're going to take the end that's still on your spool or however you keep it. And you're going to just wrap it around a couple of times. You're going to bring it up. Don't worry, we'll straighten it all out as soon as we get it all tied on here. Like I said, hold it flat if your paper's curling like mine is. And then you just, I just tied a knot. Sometimes it's easier if you do that. You just tie a little knot in it. Then you s tie your bow. If you want a bow, it depends on the teacher you're giving it to. You can just tie a knot. Oops. Of course, while you're on camera, nothing wants to work right. Bows especially, and I am not the only one who has that problem. Every demonstrator that I watch their videos, no matter how professional they are, their bows don't always come out perfect. All right, we'll fix that in a minute. So, it makes life a little bit easier sometimes if you just uh, put a little bit of tape on the back, just regular old scotch tape. Get my dispenser to give me some. Just put a little tiny bit, and then you don't have to worry about it moving and you can play with it a little bit. All right, so now that we have all of our pieces ready to go, we're just gonna set them aside. We're gonna bring in our mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. This is post-it tape, like I showed you in the other video. Here's your sandwich, plate one. You can tell mine are very used and abused. I love them to death. All right, so with that stampin' adhesive on the back, what you're going to do is you're just going to place your die so that it's going to catch that adhesive. It doesn't have to catch it all, just enough to stick it to your card when you're ready to do it. Make your sandwich. And let your machine grab it. Roll that right through. I can't wait for the magnetic base plate to hold the magnets so we don't have to use post and note tape okay and then it comes right out of there and look at that there's already sticky on the back woohoo that's what we want so let's move this guy aside I'm gonna take that out oh nuts all right it cut off the top of my case so we're gonna have to do that again no mistakes. We'll use that on something. It'll work. Good thing I put extra adhesive on here. I've got little paper. All right. Let's do this again. I can't believe I got it so close to the top there. And didn't notice before I taped it down. Okay. Shouldn't have pointed it out. Maybe you guys wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, right, we had to do it again. Uh, a girl can dream. Okay. Well, this time it should be good. Oh, it's going to come right out of the die and stay in the paper for me. How about that? So, you just pop that guy right out. I like to use my take your pick tool just to pop these little pieces out. This tool is amazing. It's pretty cool. I'll show you in another video all the pieces to it. Maybe I'll do a tool video for you guys. Okay, so we have got our base card here. We have got our stamp and seal. This is the first time I'm using this, so bear with me if I get a little 
upset with it. And then everybody says, whoops, come straight up. I guess I didn't need that much, but. So you are just gonna put it, so you have a little bit of a border here. We did four. Okay, now. We want the same amount of border, so if we have to overlap a little bit, that's okay. Just because I didn't put it in the right spot. But you do want to make sure it's lined up at the top and the bottom. So, there we go. Uh, let me put a little bit more there. That is so cute. I love this paper. All right. Just like that. Like this guy. I'm going to do the same thing. And then go right over your scotch tape. A little bit at the bottom. And you're going to put that right there. Now what I'm going to do is take a little glue dot. Sorry, my glue dots are on a spool up underneath my... Okay, so you take it and then you just push it down so your bow is, is stuck. And then you can play with it a little bit and get it to lay however you want. It's rustic, it's twine. All right, we're good. So if you notice on here, on my Stampin' Cut and Boss Machine, I like to put my um, item number and what it is, even though it has the name, I just put it on there anyways, on these little Avery labels. I do that on all of my, um, on all of my punches. I put it on here and I put, the, so this heart is a two pack. It's got one that has scalloped edges. So I just put pack. And, and I put one and then the other one I put a two on but I always put the numbers that way I know um, if somebody asks me what it is or just that's crooked there we go okay all right so now our pencil put the little eraser right up under there that's pretty cute and that covers up our whole banner there we go so make it so you can still see the banner around both sides and hmm, so we're gonna take put some seal down it just like that it might need a little bit more but and see where it is. you like it the best stick it down now look at this you're gonna take your take your pick tool and you're just gonna pick at it a little bit until you get it to peel up Try not to do it on a delicate part, just because you don't want to, you know, rip the die that you just cut out. You just want to take that backing off, and of course it doesn't want to work for me, because I'm recording. It's so much easier. And trying to get glue and not too much glue all right so then you just lay it down I kind of lay the middle down and then just let it go so that it kind of straightens itself out and then you just press it down ta-da it's done and now we just need some embellishments okay so these are resin star embellishments they are in our mini catalog our item number is 158144, and I will link them in the video also. So, let's put a blue one. I put blue, you know, primary colors. Blue. Let's put a little one. A little red. I'm going to put him right there. And then a big yellow over here. That's our embellishments. And that is your super easy card you can always add a sentiment to the inside if you want but you just have the inside that's just you can write your note to your teachers there you go i hope you enjoyed that
little tutorial on how to put that pencil card together. Is that centered for you? There it is. All right. Thank you very much. Happy crafting. I will see you guys in the next video.